just getting ready and out on my last little ride before I pack this bike up to head to the start line. And a lot of thoughts are running through my head. Mostly about it being that sore on my body. I'm not sure why that is before you start a race. But my knee is hurting, my elbow is sore, my legs feel like they haven't recovered from my ride a week ago. Um, but I think it's all mental games. My friend Megan, when I told her about it, uh, she always says she feels the absolute worst before a great race. So hopefully the same thing is going to happen to me. I have no idea how long this will take me. Um, <laughs> some days before I actually started training, I thought I would do really well. And, and then last uh, week and a half ago, I decided, well, maybe I should uh, get a few good rides under my belt. And so I did uh, uh, one week of uh, probably got a total of 700 kilometers in there with two of the rides being 200 kilometers. And I was so sore and at the end of those rides, absolutely knackered. I couldn't even imagine continuing to ride. Never mind. Um, <laughs> getting back on my bike the next day. So this is uh, my bicycle here. It's a Fuji Carbon, um, 29 inch uh, wheel set on it. It's a hardtail. Um, I was super lucky and uh, got some uh, cutthroat uh, carbon forks um, from Ryan, the manager of Rebound. He lent them to me, which is really sweet just to take off some weight off of um, having uh, some suspension. I might be cursing that uh, on some other gravel roads, but overall it'll be quite lighter. Uh, Mike made me these uh, bags here and um, they're essentially um, just a nylon bag that I made uh, and then inside is a two liter uh, pop bottle that I um, cut off so it gives it a little bit of rigid. Nothing's in them at the moment, but from what I uh, understand, I eat so much that I need the extra food storage, um, especially when I head to Canmore and I'm gonna have to pack up tons of food for the rest of the um, course. So that is my feed bags there. Um, I have this awesome triangle bag, um, this porcelain rocket um, made by a guy in Calgary. It's my friend Megan's. Uh, she's such a sweetheart to uh, lend this to me. Also answer all my bazillion questions on how to actually do this type of thing. Um, she also lent me these arrow bars, um, the ones that are green on there, so I can lean forward and get a little bit of the pressure off my um, wrist, so very thankful for that. Um, Mike put these grips on my bike for me. Um, great um, padding here. And it's just pretty and pink, so it'll make me feel happy. Um, I have two feed bags on the front. One of them, I'll probably keep a water bottle in here. Uh, that just pops in and out. This one I'll probably have just stuffed uh, with food. Um, these here are packs again. I just have them full of food. This is my spot um, tracker, so I will be online um, and able to follow me. This is my GPS, which I absolutely curse. Um, don't like it at all, so I do have paper maps that I am carrying um, as well, in case I totally uh, lose it with my GPS. Um, this is my light, very heavy, probably not ideal for bike packing, um, but that's what I had at home. Um, this is another bag just uh, full of food. Um, in here I have a three liter water bladder and I have a hose that uh, runs up um, so I don't have to fiddle with a water bottle um, while I'm on the move. And um, this is also the same bag where I keep all my bike maintenance stuff. In the back here, I have all my sleeping gear. So this is a um, brand new bag, arrived yesterday. <laughs> um, it's Ortley, um, totally waterproof. But inside that I have a little mini um, Thermarest, a uh, little teeny weeny pillow, a sleeping bag, and and um, a set of pajamas. Basically, a set of a, like a long drawn um, set for extra clothes. <laughs> this is what I'm running. I'm running a 32 up front, which is actually probably not tons of power, but it'll probably be better for my legs because I'm actually not able to push as hard as I probably want to. Um, on the back, I have 11 by 46, so I have a pretty big uh, grinding gear, which is awesome. Um, I have XTR um, components, uh, Shimano on the back and Shimano shifters up front, which seem to be working um, quite well. <laughs> I might actually even uh, sound like I know what I'm talking about, but mostly I just had to justify the receipts uh, from the bicycle shops with all the work I was getting done to uh, my bike in the last couple weeks to Michael's.
We're at the start line of the Alberta Rockies 700. It is about 6.30 in the morning. Right now, I have just lost the maps off my GPS. Um, not my strong point, that's for sure. Um, but I think I have uh, the route dialed in my head um, pretty good. And I do have some paper maps from the section that I was a bit uh, concerned about. But maybe they'll suddenly reappear somehow. Race just started. <laughs> Two minutes ago, got the gang here. You in front and uh, ready to roll. You! I nearly had uh, 50 kilometers, so uh, race is still pretty brand new. I've been going um, two hours and 40 minutes, and I'm really having a good time actually. I've been alone. Uh, nobody's my pace at the moment. Uh, there's six guys in front of me, and the rest are behind. So I imagine someone will come and catch up uh, soon, especially Dean, because I think he just goes uh, non-stop. And I'm really trying to do my own thing and uh, concentrate on my own journey here. Uh, I have some ideas in mind of where I'd like to cycle to today, but I just want to uh, make sure I keep my own pace. And it's easy to get caught up and try to stay up with those guys in front of me of course but nope <laughs> I haven't seen them for oh, probably two hours so <laughs> and uh, so I'm just rotating my legs the way they're used to and keeping it down a bit I'm in a 40 kilometer climb at the moment so it actually started at kilometer 36 in the race and it goes up until kilometer 79 so uh, pretty big up and then after that we get to go down and then at 100 kilometers a store and maybe there's coffee because that would be awesome and I'm ridiculous so I really like coffee when it's plus 34 outside and that would be such a treat if they had that for sure. I've seen two rabbits and two cows and big rookie mood. I was bombing it down on one of the downhills and went right into a fresh cow putty and it splattered everywhere. I got poop all over my legs and arms and bike and uh yeah not super lovely i was stinky i haven't stopped yet for a break so when i do i'll grab a wet wipe and get some of this poop off of everything uh it's amazing actually in the 50k how dirty the bike is already um but I'm in a 40 kilometer climb at the moment. So it actually started at kilometer 36 in the race and it goes up until kilometer 79. So uh, pretty big up. And then after that, we get to go down and then at hundred kilometers a store and maybe there's coffee because that'd be awesome. And I'm ridiculous. So I really like coffee when it's plus 34 outside. And that would be such a treat if they had that for sure. I've seen two rabbits and two cows and big rookie mood. I was bombing it down on one of the downhills and went right into a fresh cow putty and it splattered everywhere. I got poop all over my legs and arms and bike. And uh, yeah, not super lovely. I was stinky. I haven't stopped yet for a break. So when I do, I'll grab a wet wipe and get some of this poop off of everything. Uh, it's amazing actually in the 50k how dirty the bike is already. Check it out. So many beautiful wildflowers and hills. And, and my big hill is nearly done. Two more kilometers to the top. Super pumped. kilometers one o'clock now and uh, it's one on the road six hours I just took a quick break just trying to keep it speedy Gonzalez but did have to wash off of a lot of poop I have a popsicle whoa it's exciting I don't feel like I've had one of those for a long long time and now I'm on another 50 kilometer climb but I'm on pavement highest uh, paved road in Canada heading up Highwood Pass right now 
the next 50k and um, put my short shorts back on. Life's just better in short shorts. And, you know, I'd actually rather be biking naked. My dad, growing up, had a, a poster in the basement um, of these ladies biking and they're all naked and that is what I should be doing right now. Check out that creek. I am going in. Uh, pretty sure I've had less than 10 minutes break here for eight hours. Um, kind of lost track of who's ahead of me and who's behind. Doesn't matter, I'm on my own little solo journey. Though I did make some friends. And I have five horseflies following me. They've been with me for a few hours now. And only one's bit me, that's nice. And I think they like all my sweets that I have. I feel like I'm in kind of a safe zone right now to listen to music, so just rocking to it, getting up this uh, hill, still climbing. Uh, maybe another eight kilometers of climbing, so I can't even imagine how slow I'm going right now, actually. Uh, I don't uh, have my GPS set to so I could actually see my speed because, <clears throat> well, I don't actually know how to use my GPS very well, but if I did, I just, I don't think I want to see it right now because uh, my mind would then constantly go with how many uh, more hours it'll take me to do 720 kilometers at this pace. There it is, big horn sheep everywhere. This is a good sign. Look at that, 7% down. You. Hello. <coughs> well, I thought I would update everyone. I'm at 178 kilometers. <laughs> Mostly I was kind of feeling bored. So I thought I should make another video. I have about four more kilometers, so I think I'm up this hill, which is cool. And then after that, I feel like I'm on my home road, which is so cool that I get to go to Camelot today. So, um, after the next 4K, I kind of know the road pretty well. I uh, spent a bit of time on it alone, biking. So, yeah, it's been really good. Um, it's 5.36 right now. Um, so, getting up there in time, close to 11 hours, I guess. And uh, things are feeling pretty good. I'm having fun anyways. Pedaling for uh, pretty, nearly 12 hours, I guess. And it's going well. Um, I'm on my, I feel like my home road. It's the Dorian Road here. It's, uh, yeah, it's been such beautiful country. And uh, absolutely incredible. Been alone pretty much all day. And uh, hitting 12 hours, I think that's probably, it's been a long time since I've been alone for that long. And uh, I'm loving it actually. I've had a really great day. Um, most of the time without anything, but I did listen to a few podcasts and I uh, was rocking out to some music. Saw lots of fun animals, bighorn sheep, like so many bighorn sheep and cows and rabbits. And uh, yeah, it's been really good. I'm not sure how many guys are in front of me at the moment. I keep running off into the creek or rivers um, to uh, flip my head. I've done that three times or so today, and then another one under a faucet. So I'm trying to stay as wet as I can. It's been really hot. I'm pretty lucky because I tend to thrive in the heat. Uh, disadvantage of that is when nighttime comes, so I'm carrying a lot more clothes and sleeping gear, I think, than some people do. But um, but on hot days like this, I can usually keep going. And, uh, but loving it. I feel very privileged to be out here and I'm very thankful and happy with myself that I took this plunge and, and also have the support of all my family and friends around me, which feels really great when you take on an adventure such as this. I mean, it's pretty awesome. I get to bike for uh, three days or as many days as I feel like making this. And uh, I get to eat cheesies. That's fun. Um, in Canmore, I'm not allowed to go home or anything like that because of uh, race rules. You can't have any um, kind of outside support. 
Um, but I am going to go shopping and get some more food and coffee because I have to uh, pack enough for the next 325 kilometers after Canmore. The next place uh, that I can buy food at will be in Nordic. So uh, now I have to decide how long that's going to take me to get there. Uh, timing is a bit off for me today. No, like I'm doing well on my plan, but uh, I wanted, uh, I decided that I'm not comfortable biking uh, on the 1A at night, um, which is where we go after Canmore before we hit the next gravel road. Uh, there's a 30 kilometer section of that through the reserve that's not, uh, doesn't have a, a shoulder on it. So I'm just too uncomfortable to be on my own. So if I happen to meet any of these guys, then maybe I can uh, find some guys to ride with uh, through the night here, then that'd be cool. Otherwise I'll be uh, divvying before that happens. So I'm at 213 kilometers nearly in camera. And I just about hit a bear. Like I've never had that close. A uh, car like just bombed past me and it's uh, really dusty on the road. And uh, so we flew up all this dust and then out of the dust comes a, it was just a black bear, but in the middle of the road, they care less about me. It just looked, but like, I mean, I was probably going 35K an hour, so I couldn't slow down or break or anything. I just went, boom, right by him and woo, I get to go in, hey? think you can see me oh it's night <laughs> anyways I saw it was it's uh close to midnight and I'm gonna camp soon good morning time to wake up and do it all again what a beautiful morning I did not sleep at all morning beautiful morning I'm heading up the 40 grocery trunk road to Nordic and uh, today is a big day I have to um, do about if I can 260 kilometers before 10 p.m. not sure that's possible so I might miss store openings I don't think I don't have enough food to make it to Hendon, so um, I'll see how far I get, and then hit the store at 6 a.m. tomorrow morning. Uh, a lot ahead to think about when I'm only at 314 kilometers now, and Norway's at 550. But uh, yeah, starting to get uh, some nigglies for sure. Uh, my shoulder and neck on my right hand side not awesome and uh, of course my little bits and bites down there aren't too happy as well but actually my legs feel really great so I'll keep them moving and uh, gorgeous to be out here ah, check that out you This was gonna be a flat bit, but there's no flat bits today. Oh my gosh, the uphills are relentless. I've lost my uh, granny gear, so it's uh, getting really difficult for me uh, to go up. Um, and I'm at 382 kilometers. It's 11:11 in the morning. Make a wish. 
Uh, really beautiful morning so far. Had a shower in uh, Red Deer River, which was really nice. And uh, yeah, keep on trucking. Kind of losing. Uh, I don't think I'll make it to Nordic tonight, but I'm gonna keep going and hopefully I'll get close. Set me up for tomorrow morning. That is a steep looking road. Users. It's a beautiful uh, little creek here. I just took the opportunity to fill my water because I was dying. There's a way bigger hill in between my water sources than I expected. So feeling a bit depleted right now. So I'm actually sitting down and eating. I think this is the first time since I started this race. I am not a speedy person today though. Oh my gosh. Um, I don't have all the gears on my bike, so I'm having a really hard time climbing and sitting. <laughs> Looks good because I stand a lot. Um, 80 more K till Norday. Not sure I'm going to make it to it. Um, but if I have the MG to set me up for tomorrow. It's been really interesting to be alone. <laughs> I need to learn more bike mechanics before I take this on again, though. I'd be better. <laughs> Anyways, I guess you check this for me. Good evening. I, uh, it's day two, 9.40. I've gone 517 kilometers. Uh, which makes today 227. I'm not trying to pay as much to today as what I have left for tomorrow. So once I hit Nordeg, I have 160. And I'm not going to hit Nordeg until I'm at like 550, 555. So another 35 kilometers to Nordeg. So whatever I can get done today would be awesome. Uh, I'm going to be brave tonight and camp selfie somewhere along the trail here and uh, I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> Good morning. I freedom camped. I'm so proud of myself. I don't love it. <laughs> but, uh, but it's good. I did it. Um, not a really warm night. Um, so I had all my clothes on. Rain pants, everything in my little sleeping bag and uh, in the baby everything feels really wet right now um, the alarm just went off it's 4 30 and uh, I just started pedaling it <gasps> hello it's uh it's gonna be a good day it's day three and uh 841. I have gone, I don't know, I started pedaling on five. But then I got to go for coffee, and that was so awesome. Because yesterday I had no coffee, and that's like the first time ever, I think. Well, for like 10 years anyways. Uh, yeah, it's been quite the experience. I knew I'd really be having to push myself, and, and that it would be difficult. Um, Yesterday was definitely hard. I really uh, had to dig deep. <laughs> I had some low points, never cried, but it just wasn't easy, that's for sure. Uh, but I really felt good about where I was able to make it to yesterday and set me up for today, which will hopefully be a success. Otherwise, it'll be asleep in a washroom if I get too freezing cold with the rain coming in. <laughs> but I have the campgrounds marked, so it's always a possibility. I've seen two owls yesterday, a fox. A uh, fox I had to yell at to get off <laughs> the road. Lots of deer, so many horses. They're like really beautiful horses, and they just seem wild because it doesn't seem like anything's around or taking care of them. But I'm sure they are. And lots of cows as well. So really pretty. 
Uh, I spend about probably 60% of my time without any music or anything. And then when I feel I really need it, then I play music or uh, listen to some podcasts that I downloaded. All the podcasts I downloaded are inspirational ones. Um, so that definitely helps when I'm not feeling super inspirational myself. Um, but today I feel good. It was a hard morning. Hard, hard morning to get into Norway. The hills are a killer and the downhills were not easy either because they were really loose and you really had to concentrate. So, but I just had a warm sandwich and uh, coffee, so I'm feeling optimistic again. So, hopefully, I'm on the inside here. That'd be great because all my sleeping stuff's wet, so I don't want to pull that out again. And I don't know how people do this for 20 days in a row. Seriously. Hats off to them. The clouds are coming in, so I'm a bit nervous that uh, because all my stuff is wet. So I'm taking five minutes and trying to dry out my baby sack and my sleeping bag there and eat a BLT sandwich that I picked up in Nordic this morning. Uh, the ride today is going good. I'm just, these are my cheat sheets. So I make this uh, for every... Um, uh, section so it kind of tells me what I have coming up and what hills and what the elevation is going to be like and where uh, as uh, I also have like camps marked on there um which I know at the campground that at least find uh, water hi I wanted to share my tailwind with you it's so exciting I think it's the first one and it's so nice and I came at the right time because I'm going up again and I didn't know if it was going to last more than a minute, so I thought I would share it. And that's the thing about being alone. It's, I mean, I'm not, I mean, it's only been only on my third day, so I can't say it's totally lonely, but it's kind of weird to not share these experiences with somebody. And that's never something I've really done before. Um, I've always loved traveling with Mike and or my teammates. So yeah, it's uh, being alone is is uh, pretty pretty wild. I don't have to share my ship. It's my console. I'm having I'm having a snack break. Can you see it? Mm. I got peanuts and chips on the go right now. Um, things are good. Body's swelling up. Legs are pretty swollen. My lip was really swollen for a while there, but it's calmed down now. I'm not sure what was going on there, but um, I'm at 645 kilometers, but technically only 630 because of my little side food trip. So less than 90k left. So oh, I sure hope it's uh, done today. Yeah, hopefully. Uh, come on, Tailwind. It's a headwind now. But the good news is the road has improved immensely. Like, check it out. Can you see? Like, it kind of feels like pavement, even though it's not. But it's a lot of logging trucks on here. And um, so I'm able to make some pretty kind of decent time. I mean, my legs are super slow still, but just trucking along. You wondering what I do to entertain myself while I pedal? Here's a song for you. Heading up north to the land of the mines, pedaling my way into Henson by nine. Made it up the road in 49 hours, naming every single wildflower. Hoping a rally, I can see my baby tonight. So rock me, mama, like a wagon wheel. Rock me, mama, any way you feel. Hey, 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 mama, rock me. Rock me, mama, like the wind and the rain. Rock me, mama, like a southbound train. Hey, 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 mama, rock me. I also talk to my legs. 
They really like that. Say go legs. You're doing awesome. Only 23 more kilometers to go. Keep it up. You're so strong. I know you're looking very swollen at the moment, but I'll treat you so good with hot tubs and cold river baths and hours of therapy later this week. You got it. Just walking my bike for a bit. It's only 20k left, but it feels like forever. <laughs> so funny because 10 minutes ago I was on such a high. Ooh, the highs and lows. <laughs> Can't quit now, that's for sure. But <laughs> keep expecting another biker to come behind me because I feel like <laughs> today was uh, not speedy, but it was really great. It was so beautiful and challenging. But I'm really proud. <laughs> 20k. I should get back on. Okay, 10 more feet. It's not even an uphill, I don't think. It felt like an uphill. Oh, it should be a downhill soon, though. <laughs> so happy right now. Uh, two more k. I see the lights. I have, I'm not even pedaling anymore. I don't know. I just want to take it all in. It's. Uh, Man, it's emotional for sure. Um, so thankful I was able to give this a go and thankful for my body and my bike and all the support that I had uh, from family and friends and everybody uh, cheering me on was just incredible. And uh, whew. <laughs> thank you. Just amazing. I should stop. There's a stop sign. First stop sign. Woo! Yay! Fifth place overall. First woman. AR 700. How does it feel? It looks like I don't know. It might rain anymore. Go touch the <laughs> sign. Otherwise, it doesn't happen. How does it feel? <laughs> I'm happy to be Are you signing up for the next one? No, I think it's kind of like being in labor. You need to wait a little while until the rod goes away. <laughs> Literally and figuratively? Good. I'm really proud. <laughs> Good job. And I 